in my very last YouTube video, right here in front of you, I was talking about the importance, even in the title of $69,500. We were looking for the rise up to that level. We were monitoring the order flow. Everything was pointing towards that price target being hit for the short trade entry. And like I was saying over on Twitter, I really hope you listened to that $69,500 price target for the short trade entry. Why? Because I do not miss, whether it's over here on YouTube, full of Looking for that setup or to the members over at Chart Champions. We knew that that daily naked point of control was the price target and we were very confident on that being hit. Well, I hope you listened because now we'll go over to the chart and you can see the accuracy of that target. Just look at this, the rise into the level, the wick rejection bearish candle at the very high of the move. And although I do not recommend high leverage trading, you actually could have traded a times 100 leveraged short off of 69,500 and now actually be in 170% profit off of that times 100 trade. Of course, so that's just a little bit of fun to emphasize how really pinpoint accurate that target was at 69,500 daily naked point of control top of our rising wedge it all came together very nicely indeed to give us that very nice reaction and a very nice start to the week if I say so myself, after hitting the top of that rising wedge on the daily naked point of control. Sideways, obviously, on the weekend, a little bit of a fake out. So this is what we generally look for. If we, uh, you know, we close Friday, if we rise on Saturday, Sunday, we look for the drop. If you drop on Saturday, Sunday, you look for the rise. The weekend is generally your fake out day. And this weekend was actually a little bit of a fake out to the downside. But that brings us up to where we are next. And I'm sure what you're all really wanting to know right now, that is the high in for Bitcoin? Have we actually just seen a major high put in here on the Bitcoin chart? So I want to cover that with you today and go over what we are looking for next. First of all, I would like to just hide everything on this chart for you and just go on to the little bit of a medium term time frame and remind you more than anything of why this daily naked point of control was so important at $69,500. It's because of the weekly high candle that we put in at the end of July and how if this high was the high of the move at 69,500, it is once again another lower high within a bigger downtrend. That is why this level was so important. Honestly, 69,500 was the last level holding us down before we could have broke this lower high structure. So on the daily time frame, it's, e it's even clearer here, right? So this was our last major pivot lower high before obviously making a lower low. We've rallied up so close to this price target, but ultimately still below this major pivot and creating another lower high. So we have to, of course, now monitor how this goes over the coming days, weeks, months to see whether we can break through 69,500 or whether it is time for a big move to the downside. I'll be giving you my perspective now in this video. So I hope that you are looking forward to this. So. Of course, I, I really hope that you got into a short trade at 69,500. You had a lower term time frame reactions, so, you know, wicks to the upside. So whether you entered really aggressively, whether you waited for a little bit of a market structure change or whether you, uh, you know, waited till you uh, go into uh, London Open at 8, 8 a.m., right? You had an opportunity of entry. Uh, of course, you would our best tr entry triggers would have been around the weekly open, but nevertheless, you know, it depends on the time frames that you're going for. Whether you're looking for a day trade, then you've got to be trading that weekly open. But if you're looking for big swing trades where well, you can wait till London open, of course, more of a in bigger invalidation, but your targets are going to be bigger because it's a swing trade, right? So whether you're lower term time frame, higher term time frame, the entry triggers have been there, right? But I want to talk about what I'm looking at next. So I start off with a little bit of a lower term time frame, and this is what I was talking through my group this morning uh, about where we were looking for the take profit one from that short. I was actually telling them the take profit one would be really nice at the mini range point of the control. At the time, we had not hit that level, so we were waiting for that take profit one. Well, now, you know, around an hour later, we have actually hit that level. So I will just load up that fixed range that I was pulling to my team. You can see we have hit that level and obviously gone through it. So from a lower term time frame traders perspective, I do absolutely think, you know, this is a very, very, very must need take profit one. You know, these are the type of trades you cannot get too greedy on. You've already seen nearly a 2% move to the downside for the day traders. That is a very, very profitable trade. In terms of more of a 
larger term time frame then we need to come up to the four hour chart for that right and i got a really nice confluence here on the daily weekly naked point and control 67 uh 67 300 67 400 i would always class these levels as a little bit of a zone but we can see now the importance of this zone coming in here with a weekly um naked point and control on a daily that for me is a really nice level so that is like where I'd be saying is a very nice take profit for a more of a swing trade perspective. Again, don't want to close down the whole trade. Doesn't even need to be a large percentage, but at least to secure profits and put you in that scenario that if you pull back to this level and then pump to $70,000, you secure profits, whatever happens next. Of course, for the lower term time frame traders, that has already happened. Um, when I look at this and I look at the anchored view app again. This is such a key level for me. It's now coming in very close to the daily naked point of control down at around 65,000 again between 65,800, 65,700. Of course, this um, anchored view app is slowly making its way up. So that's something to be aware of. But this is a major level, what we class as, you know, I class it as the line in the sand. You want to see this level maintained to look towards 70K. If we end up losing that, well, I think that we can get that very big drop to the downside um, see it really was just a quicker video to uh, you know show you how accurate you can be when it comes to trading bitcoin you know these are not random levels these are levels that you're prepared days weeks in advance for at times so you're ready and you're waiting for those price targets let's go um, <laughs> this is a very nice comment that you guys give me best trader he's ever seen in the world but you know it's not just about the, the, the technicals, of course, it comes down to the plans that we make, the trading behind, you know, the, the um, knowledge that we have behind the charts. And it all comes down to making these informed trade decisions, right? We read, read the order flow. We make informed decisions to recognize, right? While we're holding support, we got to be looking for that daily naked point of control. We get the most perfect wick reaction. Of course, that's where you got to be taking your short trades. You plan the trade, trade the plan. From here, it really simply is a waiting game, okay? So do I know? 100% what happens next? Do we pump from here? Okay, and we end up bouncing or do we dump from here and we end up getting a very big drop? You know, that is impossible to know. All we can do as traders is mark out our levels, plan a trade, wait for the reaction. Right. We had planned this short trade off of 69,500. Well, then look what happens. You get a lovely wick reaction. That is a bearish reaction for a short trade. If we had gone through that level and flipped it to support, well, of course, then there was no short trade to be had. But even on the one minute chart, there were only wick reactions to the upside. You didn't reclaim that level at all. So there was no opportunity of a reclaim. It was just opportunity for a short trade, whether that's swing trade, whether that's sculpt trade. There was, you know, the reaction to be had for that short trade to be taken. From here, it requires a level of patience. OK, the trade has come and gone. If you've missed the trade, you've missed the trade. But if you were pre prepared, well, and uh, well, man, my words today, if you were prepared, which you definitely, which you definitely were, if you watched my live stream on Friday, it was what we talked about for a good half an hour, just going on about 69,500. It was even in the title. I, you know, we were talking about it over on Twitter. I really hope you listened to this price target. Of course, the members had it even earlier. But, you know, this was what we were ready and waiting for. And so now that trade has come and gone. We got to wait for the next trade setup, which for me would be, you know, one would be a drop further to the downside to around the daily um, and the weekly naked point of control. Or alternatively, yes, a reclaim of 69,500. And I'll be looking for that overall high just above $70,000. This is a very basic plan. I will tell you that I'm keeping this very short, simple and sweet, giving you an update on the trade, what we can be looking for next in terms of the levels. If you want a much more in-depth if you want to know the exact trade setups that I'm taking in terms of the exact entry, stop losses, invalidations, what I'm looking for on Bitcoin and the altcoins, I do have a dedicated champions live stream today. And this is going over the higher term time frame swing trades, looking for the, you know, several weeks to months into the future, these big, important trades on the big, important trends. OK, so if you want to be understanding exactly what I'm looking for next. That is what I'll be going over today in that Champions live stream. Starts in a few hours, but again, if you miss it, you can watch it back later tonight. It's basically like Netflix. You can watch all of our content on demand. So if you miss the stream, you can watch it back whenever you would like via the video library. So if that's of interest to you, you know you can 
get that right now over via chart champions for now on this more simple youtube update i hope that i have given you some nice clarity about that reaction and the levels that i will be looking for next in terms of a drop to the downside or if we do end up getting strength to the day really simply for me that seventy thousand is key for the next trade so yeah hope you've enjoyed i hope you listen closely we do not miss perfect reaction off of a very perfect level that we were very well prepared for plan the trade trade the plan if you struggle with that chart champions is the place you need to be to get in and not miss any of these trades hope you've enjoyed thank you ever so much and for me and the rest of the champions that is me signing out cheers everybody thank you and goodbye cheers